All right. Good morning. This is uh, your daily top seven at seven. It is February the 6th, 2017 already. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in as we normally do into the news. Kremlin says it wants apology from Fox News over Putin comments. The Kremlin said on Monday it wanted an apology from Fox News over what it said were unacceptable comments uh, one of the channel's presenters made about Russian President Vladimir Putin in an interview with U.S. counterpart Donald Trump. Let's see. Iran's missile test, not a message to Trump. Iran said on Monday a recent missile trial launch was not intended to send a message to new U.S. President Donald Trump and to test him, since after a series of policy statements, Iranian officials already know him quite well. Iraqi forces wage psychological war with jihadist corpses. The fly-blown corpses of Islamic State militants have been rotting along a main street in North Mosul for two weeks, a health risk for passerby. For passersby. Suicide bombers' belts beside the fighters can still explode, killing anyone nearby. Yeah, that's pretty savage, man. Frontline town in Ukraine gets breathing space after worst shelling in months. A week-long surge in violence in and around the government-held town of Avdi... Uh, hold on. Avdiev... Avdiivka, Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine appeared to be winding down on Monday as schools reopened and power and water supplies resumed following the worst clashes in months. Trump to team up with Japan's Abe for round of golf in Florida. President Donald Trump will play a round of golf with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Florida this week and says he will make sure the Japanese leader is his partner in the game rather than a competitor. U.S. Embassy in Iraq reports threat against Baghdad hotels. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad said on Monday it has limited the movement of its personnel after receiving credible threats of possible attacks on hotels frequented by Westerners. Place your French election bets, Holland, for a comeback? <laughs> uh, France's presidential election has become so unpredictable that gamblers are betting on a second term for sitting president, even though he bowed out of the contest last year, and his party has since picked another candidate. Moroccan police clash with protesters. Protesters marking the anniversary of the death of an anti-colonial hero have clashed with police in northern Morocco, in violence which authorities said left 27 officers, officers injured. Worried about Trump, asylum seekers walk cold road to Canada. Let's see. Refugees in the United States fearing a worsening climate of xenophobia in the wake of divisive U.S. presidential campaign are flocking to Canada in growing numbers. Mm. And our final story of the day. Israel's Netanyahu urges Britain to join Iran sanctions. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu urged responsible nations to join new sanctions against Iran on Monday during a visit to London, but Britain defended a nuclear deal sealed between major powers and Tehran. So, uh, yeah. So, I wonder how far this is going to get pushed out. I mean, uh, everybody's like, hey man, Iran signed a paper. We're just waiting for them to screw up legally, guys, pretty much. We're not going to do anything until they really, till it's on paper, you know, because otherwise. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the day. I wanted to end this by saying uh, the Senate debates Trump's pick for education secretary. Man, they, they're getting rid of that woman. I, I, I hope so. She, she doesn't, um, I'm sorry. She doesn't strike me as an individual well-suited to the role. Having said that, I indeed need to work on my own grammar and my own presentation. Thank you for watching this because it gives me a chance to learn how to speak. There are other things that I need to do. Learn how to get rid of my pops and peas and all the noise that you hear. 
And um, other than that, things are moving along pretty smoothly. So if some of you have been watching for a while, you know that we have a concert on the way. And it is Monday, so that means it is uh, Concert Giveaway Monday. If you want two tickets to the show, Sick Puppies and Devour the Day on March the 6th, one month from now, uh, <laughs> uh, two tickets and um, a pair of our old concert shirts from the, the last year. We have a couple of those left over, and so... Uh, if you want to win a pair and a pair of tickets to the show, uh, put your uh, name in the comments, and we will do a drawing and see what uh, you know, see what uh, who wins. Okay, and then the winners will be released on Friday. So uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that, and we will see you on the very next episode of your daily top seven at seven tomorrow.